My name is Jean Marsal, and I'm from the Faculty of Engineering of University of Porto. My research is about audiovisual limitation in the study of physics, and uh, uh, with me is uh, Maria Manuel Borges, Paula Viana, and Paul Simeon Trabalho. So, uh, my research uh, uh, is, uh, is focused on the provision that uh, video annotated content contribute to improve the training process by promoting active learning. So, through an open source audiovisual annotation tool, I, uh, I applied in a K-12 class of physics uh, and then uh, uh, tried to uh, apply to, to see if the, the students could uh, be uh, uh, promoted to the learning. So, a quick recap of video in education. Video in education um, was, uh, uh, has been supported to uh, video analysis in the formation of teachers, for, for example, or in the development of multimedia technologies that can uh, uh, promote interaction between the teacher and the, the student. Uh, annotation, on the other hand, has been a central importance to, to the organization of scientific knowledge. Uh, video annotation can be uh, assumed to increase reliability, real repeatability and optimization. Uh, in physics education, we, uh, we encounter several issues like students do not feel that they can participate in their own learning or with students that uh, with such more reliable methodologies of understanding cannot uh, understand the, the meaning. Uh, relatively to the models of learning of physics, we can, uh, uh, we can have uh, two approaches. The just-in-time physics, which is based on the methodologies that the uh, teacher uses to, to apply the tests to the students and active learning which is based on the construction of knowledge by the students. Uh, the test bed was done in a K-12 uh, class of physics uh, which uh, used this annotation uh, tool from the College of Glasgow which is Clipper. Clipper allows us to, from videos in YouTube, to segment those videos and annotate them. Uh, we can define the uh, create a project. We can then, after load the video, uh, create a clip list with the segmented clips that we annotate. We can store the, the clips in clip lists and share individually annotated clip or the clip list or the projects itself. So the test bed application scenario, as I said, was done in K-12 class. And it followed several steps. Presentation of the Clipper platform, annotation experimentation, search and select the videos according to curriculum teams, assigning videos to annotate per student, annotation of short clip summaries in pairs as a revision, interaction with Clipper development tool as a means of troubleshooting some problems, uh, and uh, to sum all of that, they created a website with the result of the annotations with the links uh, generated by the, the platform. Uh, the school provided a making of uh, test video of the process. Uh, relatively to the evaluation process, this was done in uh, two modes. For one, uh, we needed to uh, have an evaluation for the teacher to evaluate the annotations of the, the, the students, uh, which included some predefined par parameters like clarity, creativity, subject agreement, and the content itself. On the other hand, we intended to measure the students' perception about the experience they, the, the, they have uh, about the annotation. Uh, as the, the two results uh, overall were positive, but with room for improvement such as one of the main positive results was that students felt that optimized study from short versions of content instead of reading and watching long videos. 
In the negative uh, factor, we had some troubles with the, the, the platform since the platform is uh, a working project uh, uh, platform. In conclusion, um, future work includes making similar experiments with a larger pool of students as uh, focusing on teachers' use of video annotations to support uh, his teaching. So, this is a, a, a plan screen of a result which we have the, 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 the student's name with the number of annotations done and the segments which included the, the content annotations. Thank you very much.